It's Richard here from the Siebel Hub, with the latest in our What's New in Siebel IP15 video series. In this video, we're going to look at how Siebel Web Tools increases our access to web template metadata and thereby allows a more granular access to individual HTML items. Let's start by looking at Siebel Call Center and the logo in the top left-hand corner. Choosing Inspect Element from the context menu, as always, enables us to visualize information about the HTML that is used to render this. We can see that it is a div, and it has an ID of div underscore 70, as well as a class indicating that it comes from Seal Open UI and is used for displaying a logo. Armed with this information, we are now able to go to Siebel Web Tools and begin our configuration. First, inside the Siebel Web Tools main menu, I will select Web Templates. Using my query, I will select the individual web template responsible for rendering the banner at the top of the Siebel Open UI page. This is the name of the web template. Having successfully queried for the Siebel web template, scrolling down, I will be able to visualize its content. But before going any further, I will click the cog menu and choose Lock Object in order to begin my configuration. In the web template items list, I can scroll through or I can make a query for div underscore 70 the item we identified a few moments ago. And I have immediate access to elements such as the HTML attributes, as well as any other properties that I would have seen in Siebel Tools web template files previously. So I'm going to go now and make a small modification to the HTML attributes to include a class reference for a different logo. Once this change has been made, all that remains to be done is to commit the changes, click the cog menu for the parent object, unlock it because I've completed my changes, and go to Administration Runtime Configuration and publish my modified object. After a brief delay, I will be able to see the object has disappeared, and the relevant Siebel Web Tools log file will show me that the object has been published. Now I am ready to switch to Siebel Call Center to view the result. I will log out of Siebel Call Center, closing the developer window, and I will log straight back in. The changes are immediately visible. In the top left-hand corner of the page, we see the new logo. The principle of having direct access to web template item metadata from within Siebel Web Tools opens up a whole new chapter of highly granular changes possible on the fly for customers wishing to customize their Siebel Open UI application. It is still a developer preview, but already we can see an exciting future ahead. I hope you enjoyed this short demonstration video and look forward to seeing you again soon for the next in the Siebel Hub What's New in IP15 series. Take care, bye-bye.